I, Gina Haskell, do solemnly swear. I, Gina Haskell, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office for which I'm about to enter. So help me God. And today, we also mark another proud milestone as Gina becomes the first woman ever to lead the CIA. God bless America. And I just want to thank everybody in this room for doing such an incredible job and for giving Gina that unbelievable support that she needed. It took courage for her to say yes in the face of a lot of very negative politics and what was supposed to be a negative vote. But I'll tell you, when you testified before the committee, it was over. There was not much they could say. There was nobody more qualified than you, and you are going to do a fantastic job, Gina. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. President, it means a great deal to me and to the agency that you made time to come out to Langley for this ceremony. You have placed enormous trust in CIA throughout your presidency, and the men and women of CIA do not take that for granted. So thank you, Mr. President, for your confidence in me and your steadfast support of our mission and our people. I am truly honored to have this opportunity to lead the best workforce in government. It has been nearly 50 years since an operations officer rose up through the ranks to become the director, and after the experience of the last two months, I think I know why that is. <laughs> I would be remiss if I did not also note the tremendous pride I take in being the first woman to serve as director. I would not be standing before you today if not for the remarkable courage and dedication displayed by generations of OSS and agency women in roles both large and small who challenged stereotypes, broke down barriers, and opened doors for the rest of us. I am deeply indebted to them, and I am extremely proud to follow in their footsteps and to carry on their extraordinary legacy. I stand on the shoulders of heroines who never sought public acclaim, but served as inspirations to the generations that came after them.